on the show. I lost a game. To punishment was to message my pinned WeChat contact, saying I had something important to discuss, then intentionally not respond to see their reaction. My pinned contact was my ex-girlfriend, the actress Willow. She replied, What is it? Want to get back together? I knew you couldn't live without me. Do you think I'm someone you can just get back together with whenever you want? Do I look that desperate? No way. Even if you kneel on durian shells and cry and beg me today, I won't get back together with you. The next second, where are you? Baby, I miss you so much. I want to get back together. Give me a chance, please. The internet exploded. I was shocked. Willow's fans were also shocked. I'm a B-list actor in the entertainment industry. To boost the popularity of our low-budget web series, the production team arranged for us to appear on a variety show on the show. We played a dart game. I missed the board with the first dart and with the second. Seeing my teammates' disdainful looks, I steadied myself and hit the bullseye with the third dart. How about that? Your bow scout skills, as they say. Silence before the storm. Dude, you hit our boar. My teammates watched my performance, torn between wanting to say something and holding back. Finally, they just said, Great job. Just don't play again next time. After the game, it was time for the punishment. The punishment was for the losing team to send a message to their pinned WeChat contacts saying, Are you there? I need to talk to you. Then, see their reaction without replying. The male lead of my team was first, and I was last. I watched as the male lead's pinned contact was his fiery mom, which made for good TV. I wore an impeccable smile, but internally, I was panicking. Because my pinned contact was my dramatic ex-girlfriend, the current hot actress Willow. Willow, aside from acting, rarely appears in public and has never participated in any variety shows in her five-year career. In her words, an actor should maintain a sense of mystery and distance, leaving room for imagination, so, both the entertainment industry and netizens see her as a cold, and reserved actress. Only I, her ex boyfriend know that Willow is spoiled, dramatic, and a hopeless romantic. She throws tantrums frequently. Breaking up eight times a day, we were together for eight years and broke up enough times to circle the earth three and a half times. I told her, if breaking up were an Olympic sport, she'd be the USA bolt of breakups. Didn't like her post fast enough, breakup. Dreamed I cheated, breakup. Put a cactus at home, she thinks I'm trying to hurt her feelings, breakup. This time, she insisted on announcing our relationship publicly. I told her our fame levels were too different and it wouldn't be good for her. And she still broke up with me. Breaking up was routine for us in our eight years together. Usually, she'd wait until the third day to start acting pitiful. But this time it was only the second day. I hoped she wouldn't throw a fit. I silently prayed as the others completed their punishments. I muttered, hoping Willow was busy and didn't see the message. Then, I took out my phone and, following the punishment, messaged Willow. After one of our breakups, I changed her name to ex-wife and never changed it back. Changing it often is a hassle. Once, because of that note, she said, I see you want me to be your ex-wife, breakup. When she asked to get back together, she pouted and said, To be an ex-wife, I have to be a wife first. It doesn't count. We're not even married yet. Everyone on the show saw that note and had mixed expressions, and the audience started buzzing. A rising star not only had a relationship, but an ex-wife and kept her pinned. This was shocking, I prayed she wouldn't reply, but within half a second, she replied instantly, nailing me to my seat. What is it? Wanna get back together? I knew you couldn't live without me. Do you think I'm someone you can just get back together with whenever you want? Do I look that desperate? No way. Even if you kneel on durian shells and cry and beg me today, I won't get back together with you. But if you beg, I might consider it. She sent a picture of her ABS, and the entire set was stunned for 20 seconds before anyone could recover. The next second, sorry, sent it by mistake. Oh no, did I disturb your rest, darling? If you don't get back together with me, you won't see these anymore. Seeing this, I started sweating profusely, silently praying she wouldn't cause trouble. Then, an even more shocking message came through. Want to see more cool photo, at this point? My mind went blank. Not just my, but the entire production team and the live audience froze. It was a disaster. I looked at the host, and the host looked back at me. My mind raced, and his expression twisted in that critical moment. 
As I was about to reach for the phone, the director planned to cut to commercials, the production team planned to pause filming, and Willow's WeChat showed she was typing. A message popped up instead of a photo. Watch or don't watch. I don't care. I'm not begging you. Ungrateful. Everyone let out a sigh of relief. Then came a barrage of messages. I know it. You just treat me like a dot by your sigh. You're just toying with me. Dad man. I see your true nature now. Where are you? I miss you so much. I want to get back together. Give me a chance, please. Seeing this, I curse it inwardly. Willow, don't go overboard. Saying and sending anything will only harm you. At that moment, the video call ringtone suddenly rang. My heart pounded rapidly. Trying to stay calm, I snatched the phone from the host's hand. Trembling, I hurriedly pressed the green button to decline. Damn. The green button. Everyone held their breath again. Oh crap. If this happens, I couldn't even imagine. I was on the verge of collapse. Already envisioning the trending topic of me and Willow being cancelled and vilify online. The worst part would be being turned into a parody video. The worst case scenario was her being scantily clad. The best case scenario was her identity being revealed. Initially, it was just a WeChat profile picture. No one knew who it was, but a video call couldn't be played off because it was a game punishment to make it clear for the audience. The phone was connected to the program's big screen. On the HD big screen, the actress Willow's angelic face, praised by fans as the angel of domestic entertainment, her delicate nose and bright eyes, lit up the moment the video call connected. Everyone on site was stunned. No one expected that a B-list actor's pin contact would be the current top actress. The entire place fell silent for a moment before erupting. The whole internet knew that when Willow debuted, she announced her relationship, stating her boyfriend was an outsider, wanting to avoid excessive attention from netizens, hence never revealing his appearance or name. Who would have thought, eight years later, Willow's mysterious boyfriend would enter the entertainment industry and expose everything in such an embarrassing situation? The production team and guests clearly didn't anticipate this game punishment tying in with a top actress. This gossip was huge and hard to digest. I looked at my phone, and Willow was evidently unaware of the situation. Upon connecting, she awkwardly complained, You haven't contacted me for two days. Are you abandoning me? I knew it. Once you get what you want, you don't cherish it. Who's behind you? Willow then noticed the guests behind me. Her gaze fixed on the host behind me. Is it David? David stepped forward to greet Willow, his tone familiar, clearly on good terms. Ms. Liu. Long time no see. Wang and I are filming a show. Then she took the phone and turned it to show everyone present. Willow saw the senior she had worked with and had a good relationship with, along with the guests and audience and was first stunned. She looked at me expressionlessly and asked, the message you just sent was part of the program. I nodded, and David beside me clearly misunderstood, thinking Willow felt embarrassed. He was about to comfort her, when Willow's face lit up with excitement. She looked at me expectantly and said, then darling, can we go public now? I glanced at the frozen David and the shocked guest beside him, feeling a bit sympathetic. To be honest, someone as deeply in love as Willow is rare. While everyone was worried, she might feel socially dead or angry because of the message. All she thought about was going public. After all, she had been pestering me to go public for two years. Now seizing the opportunity to announce it. Willow was entirely immersed in Joe. She seized the moment. Hello everyone. I'm George's girlfriend and future wife, Willow. She even greeted seriously, causing a stir among the audience. Seeing Willow smiling foolishly, I felt a headache coming on. In the public eye, her cool and reserved image as an actress collapsed. She knew the production team had connected the phone to the big screen. When the audience could see, she started to reveal our eight-year love story. She talked for over 30 minutes, from how we met to daily life, and from everyday life to filming, even discussing our unborn children. I really admired her. It seemed like we were all standing there listening to her romantic confession. Just as she was about to move on to another topic, I quickly cut her off with a few perfunctory words and hung up. After the show ended, the unexpected moment on the show quickly fermented online. The trending search was dominated by Willow and my name, and what pushed the event to its peak was Willow's official announcement on Weibo. Willow's official account posted, This is my husband George, those without a husband online. Stop calling other people husband all day long. Seeing this Weibo post, I remembered when I first started, 
I acted in a historical drama as a gentle yet cunning supporting male character. Because the character was likable, my acting was solid, and I looked good. It attracted a lot of fans as soon as it aired. Some fans even edited all the highlights from the show. At that time, Willow loved watching it the most, but unfortunately, there were many fans calling me husband in the comments, which the romantic Willow couldn't stand, so she used a small account to retort. Is he really your husband for you to call him that? This is my husband, woman, mind your words. Since we hadn't gone public then, and it was a small account, Willow's comments were taken as banter between fans, even turned into a meme, gaining some popularity. Willow sulked for a while, then started pestering me for compensation. Tem, she held that grudge until now. Within an hour of that Weibo post, the comment section was dominated by our true fans and haters. George, my husband, commented, the hatred of stealing my husband, irreconcilable. Willow reply, I'm talking about you. Stop calling others your husband all day long. George is my husband. Willow's innocent little best friend commented, unfollowing. An actress not being an independent awakened woman, but instead, falling in love. Can't you live without a man? Willow reply. Sorry for not living up to your expectations. Your priority now should be preparing for junior high exams. Study well, and stop scrolling on your phone. Momo commented. Anyone marrying such a love-struck fool is unlucky. Willow reply. Checked your page, confessed on May 20th and got rejected again. Don't cry. I'm a love-struck fool, and you're a simp. We both have bright futures, glancing over. I saw Willow tirelessly roasting the haters, one by one. Her fighting spirit truly unmatched. Netizens, hearing that Willow personally joined the fray, flocked to watch. Willow, apparently feeling it wasn't enough, changed her profile picture and background on all platforms to my selfies, making sure no one missed our relationship. Makoto Ito commented, No way, no way. Some people haven't even reconciled but already announced their relationship. This hot comment directly hit Willow's sore spot, the only one she didn't retort to. Fortunately, Willow has always taken the route of a skilled actress, avoiding variety shows, with solid acting skills and numerous awards, earning mostly career-focused fans. Moreover, Willow admitted to having a boyfriend from the start of her career. Most of Willow's fans accepted the relationship announcement, congratulating her, some even urging her to marry soon. Though a small number of irrational boyfriend fans threatened to unfollow. Overall, it was a fairly happy outcome. On the other hand, the edited variety show was uploaded to the platform. Those who only saw the trending news clicked to watch the dramatic episode. Seeing the high popularity, the production team didn't cut the segment but instead edited it for promotion, even titling it Actress Announces Relationship. This episode of the variety show reached unprecedented viewership. The bullet comments were flying. LOL. George's basic attack tricked all of the actress's ultimate skills and flash. Someone posted Willow's chat logs for repeated mockery. Even if you kneel on durian shells and cry and beg me today, I won't get back together with you. Baby, please give me a chance. What does cool mean? Upstairs, stop talking nonsense. Do you want to die? Let me just say, I want to see the cool one. All the comments were saying me too, showing they really wanted to see it. Collective plea for actress Liu to explain what the cool photo is. I advise you not to think too much. The cool photo is the one that you won't feel cool after seeing. I'm watching with a critical eye. Don't get the wrong idea. The topic in the bullet comments kept derailing. The comments section was filled with wishes for good fortune. As soon as I got off the plane, I returned to the large flat that Willow and I shared. This flat was bought when Willow's career was just starting to take off. And we've been living here for almost four years. Because it holds so many memories, even as Willow's career skyrocketed and she earned more money, she never wanted to move. At this time, Willow was still out of town for work. After freshening up, I sat on the couch and browsed Weibo. Due to Willow's recent actions, there were several more trending topics. Seeing this, I didn't even dare to open the trending comments section. There were many people asking for pictures and the truth. Just then, Willow came back, seeing her looking so smug. I grabbed the back of her neck like catching a cat. Willow looked at me shyly and said, Oh no, you caught me, you can't let me go now, seeing her pretending to be innocent. I rolled my eyes, noticing that I didn't seem genuinely angry. Willow pounced on me, sat on the couch, hugged me, and buried her face in my neck, speaking with a hint of grievance. Darling, you haven't talked to me for two days. 
Do you know how I've been these past two days? Looking at the whimpering figure in my arms, I felt a mix of helplessness and sweetness. Willow looked at me wearily, and seeing that I wasn't reacting, she pushed her luck. I missed you so much that I couldn't eat. I've lost weight. You have to make it up to me. She hugged me tightly, raised her head, and her eyes sparkled like a million stars as she looked at me. No matter how many times I saw Willow's smiling face, I always felt my heart skip a beat. I held her, cupping her delicate face reverently, and kissed her. It was impossible to keep our relationship a secret any longer, so I posted on Weibo, my dear girlfriend, Willow. The comment section was flooded with well wishes from random people and Willow's fans, wishing us a long-lasting relationship. Some fans even dug up an old CP couple super topic on Weibo, which had only five members, and everyone started to join in. Overnight, the CP super topic went from five members to hundreds of thousands of fans. On the show, Willow's love struck statements attracted a large number of fans to the super topic, some people were promoting it, some were creating content, and others were digging up early signs of our relationship. For example, matching couple phone cases shown in selfies, Willow describing her ideal type in an interview exactly like George, and Willow frequently mentioning my boyfriend in interviews, CP fans were going crazy. Sun even discovered that the person who created the CP super topic was Willow herself using a small account. Willow didn't hide it, directly sharing it on her main account. In summary, she was truly head over heels in love. Fans were so overwhelmed by the sweetness that they joked about getting diabetes. Meanwhile, Willow had taken on a film script, and the director had been struggling to find the perfect second male lead. After seeing the trending news and learning about my image and acting skills, he immediately handed the script to Willow. Willow accompanied me to the audition for this role. After seeing my performance, the director immediately decided to give me the part. Willow and I were then packed into the film crew by our manager. The movie is a suspense film about high-intelligence crimes, featuring two female leads. Just looking at the production team, it's clear they're aiming for major awards. Willow plays the role of a high-intelligence criminal and the villainous female lead. On the surface, she's a best-selling author. But in reality, she's a serial killer who uses an ice pick the second male lead, whom I play, is a detective. As he investigates the murders, he develops feelings for the female lead, falling deeper and deeper, eventually helping her escape and framing another female lead who falls for him. Most of my scenes are with Willow's character. Every time the director called Kout, Willow would come over and stick to me, under the pretense of rehearsing lines. The other righteous female lead is played by the currently very popular actress Anna, who was recently nominated for a Golden Horse Award for Best Actress, though she lost to last year's winner. Anna called me brother every time she saw me. Seeing this, Willow would get insanely jealous, her eyes full of resentment whenever she looked at me. When the director called cut, and we finally passed the scene, Willow couldn't wait to run over. Seeing me and Nana sitting together, shoulder to shoulder, chatting. She walked over with a murderous look in her eyes, her expression entirely out of a wife catching her husband cheating. Anna felt a bit uncomfortable under Willow's gaze and greeted her. Willow, are you done with your scenes? Yeah, I'm done. If I wasn't, my husband would run away. Willow replied with a gloomy expression, looking at me with a face full of grievance, emitting an aura of calm and comfort me. Willow glanced at the chair Anna was sitting on, and Anna said, never mind, brother. I'll leave first, let Ms. Liu sit here. I'm not tired. After all, she just finished a tiring shoot. This tone made Willow feel even more uneasy. Willow glared at her as if looking at a pretentious coquette. I pulled Anne over and said to Willow, there are so many chairs around, can't you sit somewhere else? Willow sat down a short distance away, her eyes fixed on us. During the shoot, both Anna and Willow kept clinging to me, each more annoying than the other. Anna had seen the Variety Show episode and said to me, how could Ms. Liu ask you to kneel on durian shells? Unlike me, I wouldn't treat you like that. Willow, beside us, was so angry her face twisted. It was the first time she regretted joining this crew with me. Since I was the second male lead, I didn't have many scenes, so I wrapped up quickly. Willow still had half of her scenes left. When my scenes were finished, my manager got me a script for a modern drama, and I seamlessly joined another crew. On the day Willow knew I was wrapping up and leaving, she held on to me in bed, contemplating life for a long time before I could calm her down.
The movie wrapped up in less than three months and was scheduled for release during the Chinese New Year. The director organized a rap party, and most of the crew attended. At the main table, Anna sat to my left and Willow to my right. Anna kept serving me food, and Willow, not to be outdone, also kept piling food onto my plate until it looked like a small mountain. During the toasts, Willow didn't drink because of her alcohol allergy, while Anna and I drank until we were tipsy, bonding like long-lost siblings, crying our eyes out. Anna, with tears and snot, said, Brother, I've supported you for so long. Even though I didn't say it, I've supported you since you debuted. I knew you'd make it one day. Boo-hoo. My brother, how could you start dating? Your sister won't allow it. It seemed she was truly drunk. Speaking incoherently, she lay on the table, facing me with a drunken face. I said, I will definitely succeed. Yes, you'll definitely make it. To who? Brother, you're still young. You can't date. The drunkard couldn't tell directions anymore and was babbling nonsense. Hearing her words, I scratched my head, thinking there wasn't anything wrong with what she said. Eventually, I got so emotional from her crying that I also started crying, saying, Sister, I'll break up with that jerk. I'll listen to you. Okay, I'll break up. Willow watched the two drunkards lying on the table crying together, feeling utterly wronged. Then should I leave? She said this and then greeted the director before leaving without looking back. The chair beside me was empty. I suddenly sobered up a bit and said to Anna, See, you've overdone it. I'm leaving now. I'll call a driver for you. You should go home soon. As soon as I walked out, I saw Willow not far away, walking slowly, clearly waiting for me to come after her. I knew her too well. I shouted, Willow. She turned back to look at me, her face full of pity and grievance, truly deserving of her best actress title. Then she suddenly dashed over and bit my neck hard. She said, George, I want you to carry me. I squatted down slowly carrying her on my back and standing up. Her strawberry-scented breath tickled the back of my neck, sweet and itchy. But despite this, her anger was unmistakable. I quickly explained, that was Anna. Do you even know her last name? Her last name is Wong. So what? What do you mean? So what? She looked puzzled. Yeah. Her last name is Wong. So what? And what's my last name? Your last name is Wong. Oh. What a coincidence. You share a last name. Damn who the hell doesn't know even after drinking. She's my sister. My sister, how many times have I told you before? She suddenly looked at me with a realization, as if everything made sense now. That's right, the one you said, went off to college and then ventured into the entertainment industry alone. Wasn't her name Anna? Why did she change her name? Oh, I get it now. Then she abruptly changed the subject and said, George, who did you just call a jerk? How did this child switch topics like that? Although she often joked about breaking up, she could never tolerate me calling her a jerk. She almost showed me her heart, and even drunken words were not allowed. Willow is a jerk. Willow is a little pretentious coquette. She bit my shoulder. I'm willing to let go. Stop. Stop. Let go. Ouch. It hurts. She finally let go slowly, hoffed, and ignored me. I carried her step by step, looking at the lights of the city. And a thought came to my mind. I asked impulsively, Willow, will you marry me? Sure. Willow probably drunk and groggy, answered absentmindedly. Suddenly, I felt her body tremble, and she asked, What did you just say? I was in a daze and asked, Hot. You just asked me if I would marry you, she said excitedly. My brain couldn't process it, and I said, Yeah. Yeah. She jumped off my back, took out her phone and aimed it at us. Darling, repeat what you just said. I, still drunk, subconsciously said. Willow, will you marry me? Yes, yes. The next day, sober, Willow showed me the video of her accepting my proposal. She carefully held her phone away from me. You proposed to me. No backing out, I complained. Who forces a proposal like this? The movie took some time to prepare and was released during the Chinese New Year. Willow and I wore masks and bought two tickets to watch it together in the cinema. We acted like a couple deeply in love. Watching the movie on the big screen felt completely different from reading the script. I thought the script was already exciting, but the impact of the movie was even greater. This was my first time seeing my own performance in a cinema. I thought I would feel embarrassed. But the director, truly a master, had perfect control over the shots and close-ups, 
even though I had read the script. I couldn't help but feel nervous about the story between the female lead and the second male lead. As the movie ended, a couple in the front row prepared to leave, the bow trembling with fear while the girl comforted him. I thought, indeed, who wouldn't be scared sleeping next to an ice pick wielding serial killer? I looked into Willow's eyes, seemingly deep in thought, and she suddenly turned and looked at me very seriously. If I were really that female lead, and you were that detective, would you cover for me? I broke into a cold sweat. How was I supposed to answer this deadly question? Before I could respond, she suddenly laughed and pinched my arm, saying, if I were that female lead, I wouldn't allow you to like me, and I wouldn't allow you to harm an innocent girl for me. Looking at her serious expression, I couldn't help but ponder deeply, thinking, if faced with such a willow, what kind of George would I be? Is it the author who creates the script, or the character who influences the author? I smiled wryly, thinking why overthink it? Being George at this moment is enough. Then I took Willow home. After the movie was released, it received unanimous praise online, and the box office numbers soared. Perhaps the story of the villainous female lead and the detective was too dark, as some fans got too emotionally invested and left tearful messages in my and Willow's comment sections, pleading for us to star in a sweet drama together to heal their fragile hearts. The box office performance was remarkable, leaving the second place in the Chinese New Year releases far behind and taking first place by a wide margin. In terms of awards, the film almost swept the bore. I won Best Supporting Actor for my role as the detective, and my career soared, with many famous directors sending me scripts. On the day of the award ceremony, I proposed to Willow in front of the world. Holding the ring I had prepared for a long time, I was so nervous that I almost made a fool of myself. She looked at me, placed her hand in mine, and said, I do. The audience was delighted, showering us with applause and cheers. The whole internet sent their blessings. That night, it snowed heavily, something F-City hadn't seen in a long time. I parked the car outside our neighborhood and then walked home with her through the snow. I carried her on my back, walking step by step as the large snowflakes fell from the sky. She suddenly laughed behind me and said, Do you think this counts as growing old together? I remembered a poem I read when I was young. If one day we share the snow, it counts as growing old together. Playfully, I shook my head, causing the snowflakes to fall onto her cheeks, making her shiver and pressed her head tightly against my back. As the snowflakes melted, our hair returned to its original color. I said, it doesn't count, we have to grow old together for it to count. 